Hello everyone, Chef Archie Pie here. Welcome to my latest clip. I'm cooking potatoes today. The classical name for these potatoes are Lyonnaise potatoes, but we're going to saute them in olive oil and butter. We're going to flavour them with fresh rosemary, and then we're going to mix them with the most wonderful caramelised sliced onions. This potato dish will go with just about anything. It will be spectacular on any table I promise you. So without any further ado let's get cracking. It's a simple dish there's not a great deal of preparation involved apart from peeling potatoes and as you can see I've got some half inch sliced potatoes and I'm just covering them with about six to eight tablespoons of water and the reason for this is I've got the raw potatoes there. We're going to cover that plate in cling film or plastic wrap and we're going to just half cook the potatoes. We're going to pop them in the microwave because we don't want them to get too wet. If we were to boil them they might take in too much water which will affect the way we fry them. So let's get that cling film tightly wrapped and in the microwave for about four minutes. We, uh, we want to cook them partially but we don't want them to break up. So as you can see they're still quite firm and we've still got a lovely shape a sliced potato is still whole and there's no danger of it breaking up whilst it's cooking in the butter and the olive oil i'm going to dry them on my my towel dry them as much as possible and then i'm going to pop in some beautiful olive oil the measurements will be below in the description afterwards and i'm going to cook some fresh rosemary sprigs in olive oil and butter for about two minutes before we cook the potatoes. And we want to really extract the flavor from that beautiful fresh rosemary. Once we have, I'm going to take it out. I'm not saying you can't leave it in, but I want to take it out because I, I'm going to add more fresh rosemary later in the dish. So let's get the rosemary out of the pan and let's place our dried sliced potatoes in our hot oil. And I'm on a medium flame. I'm not on a hot flame. I want to cook these gradually. Don't forget, they're not completely cooked. If we cook them too quick, they'll be too firm. So I'm going to season them with some salt and pepper. And they're sizzling away nicely. And now they're going to cook in the pan for around about 15 minutes. And I'm going to turn them probably four to six times. And I'm going to cook them, as I said before, on a medium flame. Can't rush these. Um, I honestly... Uh, think there's many pitform, pitfalls rather to encounter if we rush the dish too much. So slowly is the only way to a successful uh, Lyonnaise potatoes. So let's turn them over constantly and you can see the beautiful, the way the foam uh, is happening in the pan, the olive oil and the butter. The reason we mix olive oil and butter because the olive oil stops the butter from burning. Butter on its own will burn. Olive oil on its own doesn't have that flavour, so we need to mix, and they do complement each other. And there's lots of different things we use that combination of olive oil and butter for. We can pan fry pretty much anything in them. But the great thing is we get the flavour from both elements, and at the same time, we get these wonderful brown potatoes. And... Um, the turning over just means that they get that constant heat exposure to the oil and at the same time we're giving them an evenness in terms of brownness and colour and presentation. So obviously because you're turning them over you're going to know exactly when they're cooked. Entirely up to you how brown you want them. I wanted them rather brown as you can see there. I wanted them a very appetising and inviting shade of golden brown. So they are sizzling away beautifully. They are actually cooked now. I'm going to transfer them to a, another plate. There's, you can pop them on some kitchen towel if you want. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to pop them back in the pan afterwards. In go the onions. And I've got around about three sliced onions. Uh, I've cut them in half and then I've sliced them. And now I want to cook the onions slowly, about eight to 10 minutes until they're completely caramelized. Slowly is important. Cook them too quick and they will go dark too quick. Caramelize them slowly and they will achieve that wonderful golden brown 
colour that we want. I'm now going to throw in some chopped, finely chopped rosemary. So obviously it's very fine, which means it will cook and it will be easily digested. If you don't cut the rosemary fine, it's not always that nice uh, to eat big chunks of rosemary. It's not the uh, most tender of herb. So once the onions have caramelised beautifully, I'm going to throw the potatoes back in the pan. Now I'm going to give them a bit of a mix round, get all those flavours happening. The onions by now would have absorbed all the olive oil and butter. So this isn't a dish for the faint-hearted. Lots of flavour. And as you can see, we've got a wonderfully inviting and a perfect browned sauté potato mix with all the rosemary and the butter and the olive oil. There's the finished product. It looks wonderful. I promise you, it tastes wonderful too. Crispy brown edges mixed with the beautiful flavour of a fried onion. Uh, a truly fabulous potato dish. Um, if you've enjoyed watching my food video clip, would you please share, like or even subscribe? And to find out about my next video clip, would you press the notification bell? This is Chef Archie Pie, sending everyone lots of love. And please do take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all very soon. I'm going to eat all of these all by myself. See you soon. Goodbye.